You have most likely heard the term giant rats used to describe New York's rat infestation. These enormous creatures spark fear in most people who see even one, let alone many running and jumping towards them. But once upon a time, truly gigantic rodents roamed the earth, dwarfing even the heftiest rats alive today. The biggest of these mega rodents was the astounding Joseph Fortegasia Monesi, a creature you've probably never heard of, but one that holds the record for the largest rodent ever discovered. The first remains of Joseph Artagasha Monesi, or Monesi for short, were uncovered in 1987 by Uruguayan paleontologist Alvaro Mones, who found them in the San Jose Formation of Uruguay. However, it wasn't until 2008 that the species was officially named, a combination of Josefa, after Mones late wife, and Artagasia, in reference to the Artigas department where the discovery was made. Despite its relatively recent introduction to science, this giant rodent lived between 4 to 2 million years ago during the Pliocene and early Pleistocene epochs. The fossils that revealed this prehistoric mega rodent were initially quite fragmentary, consisting mostly of a partial skull and a few isolated teeth. However, the immense size of these remains immediately hinted that they belonged to an animal far larger than any living rodent species. The skull, though incomplete, was particularly massive, with a length of over 20 inches and an estimated total length of around 3 feet 3 inches when complete. This made it larger than the skull of a black bear and among the biggest known rodent skulls. When Monesi was first studied, it was thought to belong to the family Dynomidae, also known as dynamids or giant rats, due to its imposing size. However, subsequent analysis of its teeth and skull revealed that it was actually a member of the superfamily Chinchilloidea, which includes modern chinchillas and viscachas. This revelation made its immense proportions even more remarkable, considering extant chinchillas rarely exceed 2.2 pounds in weight. The teeth of Monesi, particularly its incisors and cheek teeth, show distinct similarities to those of chinchillas and viscaches, albeit on a much larger scale. Its molars were particularly massive, with a flat grinding surface well suited for processing tough vegetation. The overall shape and structure of its skull also more closely resembled that of chinchilloids than dynamids, confirming its true evolutionary affinities. Based on skull measurements and comparisons to living rodents, it's thought that adult individuals weighed around 2,200 pounds on average, with some potentially reaching up to 3,382 pounds or more. To put this into perspective, that's bigger than a large bison and roughly equal to a small car. In terms of dimensions, it likely stood around 4 feet 11 inches tall at the shoulder and measured about 9.8 feet from nose to rump plus an additional 4 feet 11 inches of tail. This made Monesi comparable in size to some of the largest living terrestrial carnivorans like polar bears and male lions. To reach such an enormous size, Monesi likely had an extended growth period compared to modern rodents, continuing to increase in size well into adulthood. Its bones were also incredibly robust, with thick walls and dense structure to support its massive bulk. Despite its heavy build, it probably retained some degree of agility, as indicated by the proportions of its limb bones, which suggest it was not a slow, lumbering animal. They possessed incredibly robust jaws and enormous teeth. Its incisors were particularly large, with some estimates putting them at up to 12 inches long, easily the biggest of any known rodent. These huge incisors, combined with a deep jaw and strong muscles, would have given it a powerful bite, which according to biomechanical models, could have exceeded 1,400 newtons of force. That's over three times greater than the bite force of modern beavers, which are considered to have exceptional biting ability. Such a mighty bite would have allowed Monesi to tackle tough or woody vegetation with ease. The cheek teeth were equally impressive, being both physically large and highly specialized for herbivory. Its molars were flat and expansive, forming a broad grinding surface similar to that seen in other herbivorous mammals like horses and cattle. This dental morphology, combined with its strong jaws and bite force, would have made it a highly efficient grazer and browser, able to process large quantities of fibrous plant matter. Studies of Monesi's dentition and the geography of its fossils suggest that it was a committed herbivore, primarily feeding on aquatic vegetation and plants growing along water margins. It likely inhabited estuarian or deltaic environments such as the slow flowing rivers and ephemeral lakes that were common in subtropical South America during the Pliocene. Paleobotanical evidence indicates these habitats featured lush gallery forests lining the banks and extensive wetlands, both of which could have supported the dietary needs of megafaunal herbivores like Monesi. It's thought that like modern capybaras, 
Bonesi had a semi-aquatic lifestyle and probably spent much of its time foraging in and around these freshwater systems. The diet would have been rich in aquatic plants like grasses, sedges, and rushes, as well as semi-aquatic vegetation growing along the margins of rivers and lakes. It may have also browsed on the foliage and bark of trees and shrubs in the adjacent gallery forests, using its powerful incisors to strip bark and its robust molars to grind up leaves and twigs. Like other semi-aquatic rodents, it probably consumed a large volume of food each day to fuel its massive body. Monesi was far from the only large animal inhabiting South America during the Pliocene. It shared its range with a plethora of other herbivorous megafauna, including several species of glyptodonts, large, heavily armored relatives of armadillos, toxodonts, hippo-like unguletae, and ground sloths considerably bigger than Monesi itself. The waterways it frequented were also home to huge crocodilians like Morisuchus, a broad-snouted alligatoroid that could grow over 32 feet long and likely preyed on fish and small mammals. The mammalian carnivores of the time included pack-hunting, dirk-toothed cats like Smilodon populator, bear dogs such as Arctidus, and terror birds like the fleet-footed Forus racidae. Despite the diversity of predators that surrounded it, Monesi's impressive size probably shielded it from many would-be hunters, though it may have occasionally fallen prey to the very largest. These megafaunal species would have formed a complex web of ecological interactions with herbivores like Monesi playing a key role in shaping the vegetation structure through their foraging activities. As a large herbivore, it may have competed with other sizable plant eaters for food, but its semi-aquatic habits likely allowed it to access resources that were less available to more terrestrial species. In turn, Monesi would have been an important source of prey for the top predators of its time, particularly for young, sick, or elderly individuals. Bonesi disappeared around 2 million years ago, during the transition from the Pliocene to the Pleistocene epoch. While the exact causes of its extinction are uncertain, many paleontologists believe that major climate change was a primary driver. Global cooling and regional drying trends significantly reduced the extent of rivers and wetlands throughout much of South America, leading to a decline in the aquatic and riverine habitats Monesi depended on. Faced with shrinking resources and shifting vegetation, this mighty rodent may have simply been unable to adapt quickly enough to the rapidly changing environment, eventually fading into history. Yet for a few brief million years, the largest rodent to ever walk the earth reigned supreme as a real-life giant rat. The loss of Monesi and many of its contemporaries marked the end of an era in South America's ecological history. The extinction of these megafaunal species likely had cascading effects on the ecosystems they left behind altering plant communities and nutrient cycling in ways that are still being studied today. However, the legacy lives on through its fossils, which provide a window into a time when rodents grew to sizes beyond our wildest imagination. Its discovery has rewritten our understanding of just how big rodents can get, and its unique combination of size, ecology, and evolutionary history make it one of the most remarkable mammals to have ever existed. Though gone, Monesi remains an icon of the bygone megafauna and a testament to the incredible diversity of life in Earth's past.